The Google Ads platform gets way too much hate for constantly being on the lookout to ban Google Merchant Center accounts. And it's for a good reason. I mean, besides being super annoying, these bans actually destroy the livelihood of thriving e-commerce brands. So in this video, we're gonna be covering why Google Merchant Center even bans the accounts and how to kind of deal with it so that you can prevent your own Google Merchant Center account from ever getting suspended in the future. Before we understand that, we will need to kind of take a step back to understand the overall foundation of the relationship between the Google Merchant Center and the Google Ads account. Now, in order to understand what I'm even talking about, let's kind of understand in the real world terminology how this even works. What I want you to do is I want you to think of a sky a very big tall building and kind of imagine a foundation at the very base this is the foundation this is the base which ensures this skyscraper this building lasts for years and years without ever falling over your Google Merchant Center is like that foundation at the very bottom of that big skyscraper and your skyscraper in this situation is your Google Ads account and the scale. So if your base is weak, the skyscraper will topple over and it will cause massive destruction. Google's algorithm knows this. It knows so many advertisers are in here for a quick buck, especially those drop shippers, which have ruined it for majority of the other real e-commerce brands. And because Google's algorithm is aware of this, what it wants to do is it wants to set all these rules around the foundation so that no bad store, no bad building will go beyond this foundational step and it will not be able to stand up on this foundation. So what you need to understand is Google wants the e-commerce brand that is standing on top of this foundation to own its processes and to own its services. Basically, it wants to only let e-commerce brands which can give its users a good solid experience because without a good solid experience for these people, they will not be coming back on Google to buy anything else and the entire ecosystem suffers as a result. But in addition to this, the Google Merchant Center wants only those Merchant Center accounts or only those e-commerce brands which fulfill what they promise. So if on the Google Merchant Center you say that your shipping times or delivery times is three days, but in reality, it's more than three days. This is a direct signal to the algorithm that the foundation is lacking somewhere. It's gonna potentially topple over in the future. So before that happens, Google's algorithm comes in very quickly and it suspends your Merchant Center account. So this all is how the foundation works. This is basically how the algorithm is operating on a very top of the level view. Let's now look a little bit closer to understand what is the Google Merchant Center looking for when it comes to those Merchant Center accounts which do not ever get suspended? You need to make sure that there is unity and relevancy between your website and the Google Merchant Center account. If you set a return policy of 30 days within your Shopify website and the back end on the Merchant Center, it should also say that you give a 30 day return policy. Besides just having the same information, there should actually be enough information to begin with. A lot of e-commerce brands, what they do is they like to cut corners. They will not provide certain policy pages or they might kind of not really do too in-depth work on the return page or maybe on the shipping policy page. These are all things you need to have and more. And if you're not even sure what to do here, just look at one of your bigger competitors and see what they have on their website. You need to make sure first and foremost, there's little to no product disapprovals because if there's way too many product disapprovals, what's going to happen is this is all going to send a signal to Google's algorithm that, hey, this e-commerce brand, it's not following direction. Let's suspend this Merchant Center account. Right when your product disapprovals arise, make sure to deal with them right away because again, later on down the line, this is gonna cause massive amounts of problems. Kind of wrap it up. You want to be providing all of the necessary information needed to make a successful purchase. I mean, just think of what you would wanna see when you're shopping on a website. All these things which give a holistic approach to the website and make the overall user experience much, much better. This is, by the way, again, the same things we're doing with the e-commerce brands I'm handling, as well as my personal brands. Again, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen.